today I'm coming on to share a video on these unicorn wands that I made and also what the rosettes look like using these uh, paper rolls that I've bought from Hobby Lobby on clearance for a dollar so I wanted to show you this and also my unicorn ones anyways I made this I was thinking about a unicorn when I saw this fun fur that I purchased from Dollar Tree it's like the the variegated or very I don't know if it's variegated or variated the different colors the multicolor fun fur and I thought man that reminds me of like a unicorn so I thought you know what let me see if I can do a unicorn one since everybody is into the unicorns I figured that maybe some of you would like to make something like this this was actually my first one this is the prototype and then I kind of looked at it and thought what I would do different and I went ahead and made this one so as you notice the ears on this one's a little bit longer and I'm like you know what this is looking like a bunny rabbit because this is the same template that I used for my rabbit my um, bunny ones which are these here so I used the same template and I figured you know what let me make the ears a little smaller and I wanted to change the unicorn horn to a gold one I was looking for actually like silver um, I was looking for a silver pipe cleaner I just haven't found any so I don't know if I even have any but I did find gold so I did gold and this one here is using twisting two colors together which are these ones here and then I used this one for the gold one and then I had made these flowers before and I do have a video um, that I show how I made these paper roses and I will um, link that in the description box if you have not seen it so yeah so I did the unicorn and I made the ears a little smaller I did uh, use the same template that I did for my bunny wands and what I did was I took the template and I drew a line to where I would stop so that's how big the ears are and then what I did was I just traced out just a smaller piece for the pink and the ear so it was really easy I didn't use any dyes for this I didn't use any dyes for the rosette as well um, and then another thing I I had were these little eyelashes that was so cute and perfect for this project and I actually have that in this stamp set that I hauled from Michaels and it was on clearance for I think it was like two dollars and those are the eyelashes that I used so it was perfect so I did it to fit these eyelashes where it would you know fit nicely on the unicorn's face and that's it and then I used Tim Holtz distress inks I used um, let's see here I used picked raspberry and peacock feathers those two colors uh, for my rosette and all I did was I took some computer paper, cut it down on the lengthwise where it was 11 inches long into a, a one and a quarter inch uh, strip. And then I just scored at each quarter, folded it up, and did it like a, rose, a regular rosette. And I did both sides. I colored both sides of it. And then here's the back. It's like the unicorn tail. I thought it was just so cute. So if you guys are interested... And seeing how I made this go ahead and stay tuned I will share the video after this um, I will put uh, music to it so I won't uh, talk through it I was trying to kind of speed it up so the tutorial won't be so long but it's pretty simple and I just wanted to show you how I did it okay so that's the unicorn one and here are the rosettes that I made using those uh, rolls of paper so here's this one, and then here's this one, and here's this one. And all I did was I took a strip out, measured it to 12 inches, went ahead and cut that and scored it at, well, I actually didn't score it. I used this Martha Stewart punch, and it automatically scores it at half an inch. But I wanted my rosettes to lay a little more flat, so what I did was after I punched it out, and it scored it at every half inch, I went in between those score lines and scored it at each quarter so it made them smaller so it would lay flat because if you do half an inch 
you know, it would be taller, you know, half an inch tall. So I didn't want that. So that's what I did here. And I thought those came out really pretty. It would be cute to make a little banner or something. Um, they're very, like, summery colors. I don't know about this one, but, yeah, you can use this for summer, too. Fourth of July, you can put a star on it. So, anyways, I wanted to share that. And let's get to the process of how I did this. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing. I truly appreciate it, and I hope you guys have a great day. Hope you guys enjoy the process. Thanks. Bye-bye.